A journey begins, passing through blades of grass towards an ancient ash tree. A naked silver birch standing in the middle of an open field where three sheep graze. The pristine lawn in the courtyard of Croft Castle in Herefordshire with its church to one side. And through a stone archway, the stable block with its pale blue painted doors. A stable door sits ajar, revealing bench seating made from tree trunks. Inside, a film plays on a screen, flying over the thick vegetation of the forest. The valley unfurls its song by Adam Chodsko. Back out through the arch and into the meadows and forest beyond. Along a natural pathway worn between trees through bright sunlight. On a bank, fir trees shoot ramrod straight, their branches brushing the blue of the summer sky. As if out of nowhere, a magical place appears. A mirror glass pond patched with reeds and frog spawn, and a huge rock floating a few inches over the water, weightless and impossible. The Weight of Things by David Bethel Flies dance on the crystal water rippling the surface. An upside down image of the huge rock and its reflection give the scene an unearthly quality as a cloud of frog spawn drifts across the summer sky. What appears from a distance to be a waterfall is the watery blue curtain of a grotto at the edge of the woodland. Unbeing by crews. Up close, the shredded curtain hangs like six banners over the arched entrance to the grotto, with words written on the strips. Inside, a large iron bowl a metre in diameter contains dozens of pieces of wood the size of ice lolly sticks, printed with words. Travelling back outside now through the small shaded window hole of the grotto and into bright sunlight, overlooking a pond ringed with vegetation, and travelling further into the forest. In a clearing of broken branches and viewpoints overlooking the forest, Brightly coloured period chairs stand out in contrast to the natural surroundings. The high back chairs have candy twist legs and pillars on the backrests and are painted bright pink, blue, yellow, and orange. Perception and Perspective by E.D. Joe Murray. The journey continues along a dirt path edged with dense foliage on either side and through groves of trees dappled with sunlight. A movement between tree trunks. Sheets taller than a person flutter in the gentle summer breeze Valdine some kite by Simon Roberts. The sheets are printed with black and white photographs of classical marble statues wrapped in protective plastic coverings. The gauzy material is transparent, belying the dense and heavy white marble. The gentle drifting of the material creates movement in the figures, giving them a 3D effect.
a veiled woman appears mournful. A shrouded naked man is tantalizingly demure beneath the plastic as the cover gathers and pleats around the base of the statue like pouring honey. Sunlight dots the floor of the forest and the sheets billow gently. The journey continues into a hole in the trunk of a craggy and ancient tree. From the darkness inside the trunk, the forest outside is a calm and peaceful place. Leaves flutter in a strengthening wind, and one of the colourful chairs is just visible among the trees in the distance. Close up, the candy twist pink and green legs are stained with grains of brown earth. The chair sits on a slight promontory with a view into the forest, standing out brightly against the backdrop of forest foliage. A small path leads down to a large pond reflecting the trees on its mirror surface. The picture fades to black. The All Alone exhibition was curated and produced by Meadow Arts in partnership with the National Trust, Croft Castle and Parkland 2021. A film by Ollie Lancel. Audio description by Willie Elliott. For Vocalise 